Water fit for drinking. The water we drink must be drawn from natural fresh water sources such as lakes, rivers, and underground aquifers. However, the water that comes from these sources is not always fit for drinking. The impurities present in water can be of two types, insoluble or soluble impurities. Insoluble impurities are the impurities that do not dissolve in water. For example, mud, glass, oil, etc. While soluble impurities can dissolve in water. For example, salts, germs, etc. It is important to purify the water that we drink. Some methods of removing the insoluble impurities present in the water are sedimentation and decantation. Impure water is taken in a container. After some time, the impurities like sand and clay settle down at the bottom. This process is known as sedimentation. Clear water is then transferred into another vessel. This method is called decantation. Filtration. It is the process of removing the suspended solids from water by passing it through a filter. Filtration is considered to be a better method than sedimentation and decantation. In a laboratory, filtration is done using a filter paper. The filter paper is put in a glass funnel. Muddy water is poured into the filter paper in the funnel. Clear water is collected in the beaker kept under it. The mud remains in the filter paper. Methods of removing soluble impurities. Even after filtration, water may contain germs and be unfit for drinking. Germs can be removed in the following ways. Boiling water kills the germs present in it. Chlorination is the process of adding a chemical called chlorine to the water. It helps to kill the germs present in the water. Water purifiers used these days ensure the purity of water. We should always store water in clean and covered containers. The contaminated containers may contaminate water as well. Remember, water is precious and should be conserved. Underground water. When it rains, some of the rainwater seeps into the soil and under the ground. The water present under the ground is called the underground water. The level of underground water in a place is called a water table. Underground water can be drawn out by digging wells and installing hand pumps.